Hey, what well, going everybody? How you doing? This is your boy Shay again. And yo, I'm very sorry that I haven't posted anything over a month now. Um, it's due to the fact that I um, was very ill, still ill, uh, and I also injured my right arm. So definitely without my right arm, I can't do anything because I'm right-handed. But now, um, like say 80% back to normal, I decided to do something today for you guys. So I'm going to be doing some chicken, I'm going to be doing beef, and I'm going to be doing lamb. You get me? And I'm going to do it with something that I, I did myself and I liked it. I'm going to be making it on the side with some fritters mixed with pumpkin. Yeah, man, some pumpkin fritters. So, guys, keep it locked. Uh, this episode going to be epic. Bless up. All right, guys. So, today is going to be different, as I explained. This, what you're looking at here, is my homemade jerk seasoning that I created myself. Yeah. So, normally, I would have like six containers here filled with different spices and herbs that I'm using. But for my jerk chicken, I finally perfected my own homemade jerk seasoning. So this is what I'm going to put in my blender with some thyme and some scallion. And this is the broth that's left over from the, the that I made earlier. So now, also this here is my homemade browning. So this is caramelized sugar. In Jamaica, we use it a lot in our, most of our dishes that we do to give it that brown rich color. And you don't know for drop some Jack Daniel in that thing, you know. So now I'm going to combine everything and I'm going to put it on the chicken and let it sit for two hours and then I'm going to get the grill ready and in the meantime I'm also going to move over and start preparing the sauce I'm going to be making for the lamb and also the beef. So let's see what's going to happen and guys please remember to try all of these recipes at home alright. They're very quick and easy and if I'm not clear enough feel free to ask a question okay. So this is my chicken in, the, in my brine. Um, it's more than already now like when I just lift the cover off of this one I can literally smell all the herbs combined together, you know and over here We have my lamb in the brine also So now I'm going to, I don't need to put the beef in the brine because it's a steak, you know So I just need to when I make the sauce that I'm going to do in the pot the garlic butter and the, the Whiskey then I'm going to just put the beef inside of it on both sides for two minutes Take it out, then I'm going to base it in the um the powder seasoning to bring out the flavor, then drop it on the grill. So yeah man everybody, I tell us that today is going to be something different, man. So keep it locked, man. See, all you guys gonna have to do in the future, purchase one of the yard is jerk seasoning. You don't need to buy a bunch of other herbs, you know. Everything is combined in one. So listen man, stay tuned, man. I'll be posting this soon. My website, sorry for the delay. The website will be up hopefully next week now that my hand is working I can complete my website and also going to also have the browning you can use it also in cakes if you want to anything at all I'm going to list every single thing that it can be used with so stay tuned guys Let's see are there now oh my god check that out people People check that out, check out that beauty. So all we have to do now, yeah, is pop this big boy into the fridge and let her marinate for two hours, then show her on the grill, you know? And also we're gonna eat very scrumptious today, understand me? So now the chicken out of the way, now I'm gonna fix up the one for the lamb. And then we get everybody in the fridge and let them chill for a while. And then we just light up the grill. Alright, so now I have my garlic diced up. I'm going to add some more to it. And this is my butter. It's just from meat because it has the flavor of the beef inside of it, yeah? So now I'm going to add the butter to the pot with the garlic and let the butter fully um, be melted. And then we're going to just put the meat on the inside of it. Two minutes on each side and then remove it and then get it ready for the grill. So now let's start. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start putting the beef into um, the garlic butter with the whiskey. So just dip it in on one side like that. And then do the other one. Same thing. Sorry guys, my hand a little bit shaky as I explained to you that I had a little injury. So I'm literally pushing myself now just to do this video for you guys, okay? So this is how we do it in my garlic butter and whiskey. 
and just flip it over. You don't want to cook it in this, you know. You just want it to absorb some of the, the, the flavor. And then we're going to cook it on the grill. So this is all we have to do. And then we're going to make the base for the grill now. It's all going to be combined with herbs, yeah. So yeah, man. So just leave this on each side for two minutes. And then we're going to transfer it to the grill. See, I put all my spices on top of it and uh, now I'm going to put it on the grill I just made the first turn also with a lamp um, almost approach one minute and I'm going to remove it from this now and then I'm going to start making the Jack Daniel base sauce with this so all right guys get ready now grill time all right guys okay so here's everybody now so we have mr. lamb chop over here well marinate up and ready and we have here mr. steak and his two brothers well marinate up and ready and over here is a way of Mr. Jerk Chicken. Well, marinate up and ready. Alright, now grill ready. So, first, we're gonna put our chicken first, yeah? So now we're getting ready to do the pumpkin fritters. So cut up your pumpkin in cubes and boil them until they're fully cooked. And then we're going to transfer them over into the flour, which is already seasoned with salt, pepper, and for me, some spring onions and of course, some jerk seasoning. So here we have the mashed pumpkin. Um, I leave a little bit of the water in it because I want to make sure that all the flavor from the mashed pumpkin is absorbed and combined with the flour mix that I just showed you guys. So now let's add the pumpkin to the mix, yeah? Alright, so now we have the meat. We just removed it from the grill and now we'll put it back into the garlic whiskey sauce because when you take it from the grill hot, it is even better because it's, it's going to absorb all the flavor of the sauce. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to add a little bit more Jack Daniel on top of it and just a little bit of honey barbecue sauce, not too much, just enough to enhance the flavor, you know. And after that, then we're going to combine everything, guys. Alright, guys, y'all ready? So this is everything now, yeah? Check out my fritters, them man. Call them golden crispy and nice. Oh my gosh. So this is the pumpkin fritters, everybody. Yeah, man. Crispy and decent, yeah? And this is, of course, my jerk chicken. Never fail with the jerk chicken. Look at that, everybody. Oh my God. And now we go over to the pizza resistance. Mm -hmm. This is the beef and the lamb. In that nice um, butter sauce with the what? Jack Daniel and garlic. Yeah, man. So, everybody, make sure so you like, share, and subscribe on Yardis Kitchen. Because as I said to you, man, I was out of commission for a month, but I'm coming back in full force, man. A lot more to come, everybody. And make sure you check out this recipe and try it at home. Bless. Stay tuned.